Georgia dominates South Carolina in this first SEC matchup of the 2021 season. Uh, the Dogs started out pretty quickly um, in the first quarter. I think JT Daniels threw for about 100. He went 8 of 9 for 119 yards and a touchdown in the first two drives. Then, for whatever reason, Kirby Smart took him out after Georgia was getting into a rhythm. And then J, uh, Stetson Bennett throws a pick, which ended up turning into three points for South Carolina. But ever since then, um, JT Daniels got back in it. Uh, he finished with uh, 23 of 31 for 303 yards, uh, three touchdowns, one interception. That one interception was, I guess, a misread on him. Um I don't know what route Fitzpatrick ran, but the safety uh, was at Foster uh, for South Carolina, jumped in front of the pass and picked it off. It was kind of a bad throw, too. Just a terrible read. But that's really about it. Other than that, JT Daniels played absolutely uh, well. In Georgia, defensively, the first team lights out. Uh, they didn't give up a touchdown, I believe, um, until the third quarter. And in the third quarter, a lot of the – a lot of the starters were out of the game, uh, if we're being real here. But Georgia hangs on. Uh, shout out to uh, Frank Beamer's South Carolina team. They they really fought in this game. They did not quit, uh, which is, you know, if you're a South Carolina fan, that's something at least you can build around because you are clearly outmatched. Um, South Carolina rushed for less than 30 yards on, I think, 13 carries in the first half. That is not going to get it done against any SEC team. Uh, Kevin Harris, Kevin Harris had 16 carries for 31 yards in that first half. I think they gave him the ball like seven or eight times. I don't even think he had a yard. Um, that's how good Georgia's defense is. Georgia held another team under 100 yards rushing. That's now the third game in a row. Now they gave up over 100 yards to Cincinnati in the bowl game, but. Uh, South Carolina rushed for 96 yards. Majority of their yards coming in the second half, just like UAB did last week. So there's that. Zeb Nolan only went one of two. Uh, he got hurt. Uh, I don't remember who stepped on his hand um, back in the first quarter. Um, but his first pass was, was a nice pass over the uh, left shoulder. I mean, sorry, the right shoulder of uh, Josh Van, I believe, the wide receiver for South Carolina, who had a very, very, very good game. He had over 100 yards um, in today's game. Uh, so that's a bright spot for South Carolina. But Georgia offensively looked really, really sharp in the first couple of quarters. Um, Stetson Bennett came in and threw that interception. I don't know why he came in the game. Kind of upset me on that, but it is what it is. Um, but JT Daniels looked really, really good. Kind of built off what he was doing last year. Another 300-yard game uh, for JT Daniels. Uh, and then the rush was actually really, really effective all night. Um, you know, we saw against Clemson in the first half, Georgia really couldn't run the ball as well, and even against UAB. But today they were really, really uh, able to run the ball and, you know, uh, Kendall Milton had 10 carries. Uh, James Cook only had four carries, but all his carries were explosive pretty much. Zamir White had eight carries. Um, Kenny McIntosh had four carries, but, I mean, he didn't really do much through the ground. I think he had a couple catches. Yeah, he did. He had three catches for 35 yards, so that's um, – so, you know, that's a plus as well. But, um, but yeah, wide receivers – um, oh, Jermaine Burton had a nice touchdown, um, back in the first quarter, I believe, uh, AD Mitchell had a couple really good catches. Brock Bowers again, dominating, um, a lot of, a lot of touches out of the backfield for, um, for James Cook and Ken, uh, Kenny McIntosh. So that was interesting to see, but uh, looking past to our defense, again, like I said earlier, the defense pretty much dominated this entire game, especially on that front seven. Um, once we got into the you know late third, 
early fourth quarter. We subbed out to second and third string guys, and Georgia still held them to seven points, which was kind of disappointing uh, when Amir Speed got burnt for like the third time in, in today's game, which we'll talk about that in a second. Um, uh, who, who, who caught the touchdown for South Carolina? Um, it was, it was, it was Vaughn, uh, Josh, J- Josh Vaughn, uh, for South Carolina had a really, really, really good game. Uh, like I said earlier, all his passes were at least, tw- or all his three catches were at least 20 yards or more. And he had two over 50, I believe. Um, oh no, he had two over 40, but yeah, a mere speed kind of let down, uh, the defense today, um, if we're being very uh, nitpicky, he got burned a couple times. Um, it was kind of disappointing to see that Keely Ringo, I thought played, played fine, played pretty well. Um, even, even our boy, uh, Deron Kendrick, um, listen on that pass that he gave up. I think it was to Vaughn. Um, Vaughn just made a play. It was a 50-50 ball, and the wide receiver won that battle. Uh, but that was pretty good co- coverage, in my opinion. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. The dogs take care of business. They do not cover the spread. Ugh. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, Georgia rolls, though, 40-13 to over South Carolina. Uh, almost rushed for 200 yards, passed for over 300. Uh, had over – I think they had just about 500 yards of total offense. Gave up about 310 to South Carolina. 214 through the air. South Carolina only completed uh, about 48% of their passes. Uh, South Carolina did not rush for over 100 yards. Georgia did, like I said earlier. Uh, and time of possession actually went to South Carolina's favor. So that's pretty much it for the post game. Uh, like I said, Georgia dominates South Carolina. 